there's been a lot of talk about an issue here, and I felt like dipping my little toes into this pool. And this is that whole age of consent thing. And before anyone jumps on my case here, I'm not sticking up for anybody or doing anything for anybody. Got it? This is my opinion on an issue. Now that that's out of the way, let's, let's go into this just a little bit, huh? We have age of consent. We all know what age of consent is. I don't really feel like I need to explain this to you. So, let's just go right into the meat. So we have this age of consent thing to protect children from exploitation. That is why it exists, I believe. You know, people under this age are considered to not be capable of consenting to sex, or maybe we consider them capable, but we think it's better that they don't. Whatever your particular interpretation of why these lines exist, you know, they're there. And at least ostensibly, they're there to protect children. Now, you can argue back and forth on whether or not this really does that. But that's not the point I'm addressing here. What I'm simply addressing here, right now, to your face, is the idea that age of consent is recent. It is something that is not exactly since the beginning of time. And this is an important thing we need to understand, I think, in this whole debate, is that there was a time, and it was actually quite recent in the grand scope of history, where age of consent wasn't a thing, where people were getting married at 14, not that they were having a little promiscuous sex. They were already married. And I think this is a piece of this debate that's been lost and completely forgotten, is that age of consent is a recent construction for us. Why is that so important? Why? Well, because we need to understand that this whole age of consent thing is not backed by some moral superiority where this is right and this is the way it must be done. No, no, this is how we think it is right, and this is our current understanding of the best way to protect children current, I note, because tomorrow it could change altogether. Or it could change just the tiniest bit. Maybe the age goes down a year, up a year, something changes, there's tests, who knows? The point is that it wasn't always this way. In fact, age of consent wasn't a thing until more recently. And now that it is a thing, we need to understand that this is a concept that can and should, in fact, be questioned and put into flux. Because nothing is perfect in our world, right? Nothing. Nothing is ever the best answer ever. Nothing is ever the ultimate solution to every problem. We have an age of consent thing here going on, and it seems to work decently well. Does that mean it can't be made better? Absolutely not. Does that mean it can't be thrown out altogether and replaced with something new? Absolutely not. And in fact, if you're one of those people who's going to sit there and say, well, we can't question age of consent because of X, Y, or Z, well, you're holding us back. Sorry, you are something holding back evolution of society. It's what it is. Because, as I've already established, and if you want to argue this with me, you're a fool. I'll say it. It is not perfect. It can't be perfect. No social construction, law, or idea we create can ever be perfect because it is the product of imperfect people. Okay? That's very simple. And it's something that is lost entirely in this debate with people sitting there getting on a moral high horse about age of consent. Anyone who questions it is obviously trying to get people to rape children or allow pedos to do whatever they want. And that, that's not helpful. It's worse than not helpful. It's ignorant. Because, again, I will repeat it, because it bears repeating in this argument, which is that until just maybe 200 years ago, or even a lot less depending on your area, or even not at all still today, depending on your area, age of consent wasn't a thing just wasn't. And that bears incredible investigation. It bears remembering because there was a time before it. And you know what? There could be a time after it. There could be a time where age of consent is done and gone. I don't know what would replace it. I don't know. I can't even begin to offer the first step of what could replace it. But that's not my job. My job is simply to point out to everybody else who is acting like this is some kind of penultimate truth passed down by the word of God himself, you know, that anyone under the age of 18 who has sex with anyone over the age of 18 will be burned forever. Forever. That's not a thing. It's just made up by people. It's arbitrary. This is an entirely arbitrary thing we have decided. 18 was an age we picked. You could almost say we picked it out of a hat. But of course, what, 18, right? Except, look at the uh, states, right? Let's look at the states for a second and see how not 18 their age of consent laws are. Go ahead, check it out for yourself. I'm not going to go on a listing here. I don't have to. Google it. Age of consent by state. 
See which ones go down to 14, why don't you? And then wonder about your age of consent and how amazingly obtuse and complete that wall is, right? Oh, 18, that's it. Oh, except for all these other places where it isn't, including all over America. And let's look at the rest of the world, eh? How many other places have 18 as their number? Not too many. Other places draw it at 16, 15, 17, whatever, 19, you know? This is not an agreed-upon idea, is my point. It hasn't been fixed, formulated, or totally worked out. The kinks aren't done. This is something that is in progress. No one agrees on the age. And until people want to accept this part of my argument here, then you're not arguing this full equation. I'm sorry, you're not arguing this issue as it should be argued, which is with an understanding of the history behind it and an understanding of the worldwide implications to it. Everybody argues this from this America standpoint and this magical belief that it's always 18 is the age of consent everywhere in America, which is fallacy. And furthermore, it's a recent construction. So where are all of these people coming from insisting that age of consent is this absolutely imperative thing that we must keep around and cannot be questioned, changed, or even talked about? or else you're a pedophile lover, or you want to rape children or something. Where, this, where'd it come from? Again, recent construction. A hundred years ago, you wouldn't have found these people. Two hundred years ago, not at all. Just something to think about before you go run in your mouth.